Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we're going to teach you guys how to install Minecraft Forge onto Minecraft so you can start downloading and installing all of those fantastic Minecraft mods that you see us use in all of our series like Jurassic Craft and the Minecraft International Zoo. This guide is going to be going through the steps for Jurassic Craft and some of the newer 1.8 mods, but all the information that I'm giving you guys today corresponds to any version of Minecraft. So if you wanted to use some of the older mods like Buildcraft or Industrial Craft for Minecraft 1.7.10, then the, the system that I'm showing you now works in exactly the same way for any of those versions. So you can follow it without any problems whatsoever. So, the first thing that we need to do, obviously, is download and install Minecraft. If you're not quite sure how to do that, then this probably isn't the right video for you, but hopefully you're already at that step without too many difficulties. And once you've done that, the next step you need to do is a very personal choice. What you need to actually decide uh, amongst yourselves is which version of Minecraft you actually need to install. Now. For me, running the new version of Jurassic Craft and all the new mods that I use for Minecraft 1.8, I would need to download the Minecraft 1.8 version. What I do is I go ahead and click the Edit Profile button and then click Use Version uh, and then go ahead and choose the version of the mods of the version of Minecraft that I need to run. If you were using an older version of the mods and needed Minecraft 1.7.10, that's what you would need to choose. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're actually going to go ahead and download Minecraft 1.8.8 because that is the version of Minecraft that the latest version of Jurassic Craft runs on. It does mean that the latest version of Jurassic Craft is incompatible with pretty much every single mod out there, which is a shame. But it does mean that we can download the latest version and show you guys how that works. So. Once you've chosen the version of Minecraft that you want to run, it will say ready to play and download here for you. We've already downloaded it, so it just says ready to play. And then all you do is press play just once. Make sure that it downloads that version of Minecraft for you uh, and then also actually runs it. So you get to this screen here. You should hopefully hear a little bit of music in the background and everything just to show you that it's all working. So great. First step, absolutely sorted. No problem at all. The next thing that you need to do is go ahead and get the Minecraft Forge version for the version of Minecraft that you have installed. It's nice and straightforward to do. If you actually just Google Forge, the first link, files.minecraftforge.net, is actually the page that you want. So it's nice and straightforward to do. Uh, ignoring these adverts that are on the left hand and right hand side of the screen, what you need to do is choose the version of Minecraft that you need to download, the version of Forge for Minecraft. So. You could choose Minecraft 1.7.10, you could choose Minecraft 1.8, but for this version of the video that we're doing right now and for the purpose that we're making these videos, we need to download Minecraft 1.8. All you've got to do is go ahead and download the installer version, which is actually going to install the version of Forge onto Minecraft for us, and then once you've done that, you should find that in your downloads folder, wherever you've decided to put that, you'll have the version of Forge that you want. Simply double click on that and then that will load up for you and you need to choose install client and then it should be already pointing at the correct uh, user. In this case, I'm recording on a user called recording, which is nice and straightforward. But if you have an alternative place that you download Minecraft and put everything, then you need to obviously choose the path that you have there. But for all intents and purposes, all intents and purposes rather, you should find that that is already pointing in the right direction. Press OK. What that will go ahead and do is it will download all the libraries that you need for your version of Forge on your version of Minecraft. And then once that is done, it should give you a little prompt which will say that everything has been downloaded and has successfully installed. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You can see it's downloading all these libraries. And then finally, just to finish off here on this nice long little installation, you should see, there we go. Successfully installed client profile forge for version and grab 13 libraries. So we press OK, go ahead and reopen Minecraft. And now what you will find is if you click on the profile uh, just down here where it says CAF because that's my Minecraft name, you also have forge. Now, Forge is the uh, basically the, the profile that you want to choose whenever you're running 
uh, your version of, uh, of, of Forge Minecraft whenever you want to use the mods. Doing it in this way means that you can easily switch back and forth between a generic vanilla game, so you can run and like uh, jump onto servers and stuff. If you wanted to play some Hypixel or whatever, you can still do that, and you keep all your installation stuff in the Forge folder. But that's nice and straightforward. Go ahead and click play once we're on Forge, and that will download any other last little bits and pieces that it needs. And then you should find that the launcher now looks like this rather than the first one that we took a look at. That's because we are now using Forge. And you can see here it says Minecraft 1.8.8 powered by Forge 11.15.1655 or whatever version is the latest version by the time you're watching this video. Three mods loaded, three mods active. And that means that the three mods that it requires to run Forge are all working. So, this is a great point for us to uh, stop the video right now because it means that we are all nice and set up for the next part of the video, which is how to actually install the mods once you've got Forge working. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If these videos are helping you or if you have any specific things that you'd like me to go over or any specific mods or mod packs that you'd like me to go over to show you how to install, make sure that you like the video and leave a comment down below letting me, what else, letting me know what else you would like to see. Uh, and then what I'll try and do is make that video for you as well. But we're going to go through how to get Jurassic Craft up and running next time. And then after that, we're going to show you how to get a server up and running, which is going to be pretty exciting. But until then, I've been Kaf of the Kafcast. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. You've been watching the Kafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kefcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.